<laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. You. <laughs> can we sit here? Okay, sure. <laughs> Fortunately, Joe live in California and they in Seattle and then we thought oh, why not move to Canada. It is such a welcoming country for immigrants and you know it's so lovely, so welcoming, amazing people. So we thought to okay let's switch to Canada on a permanent basis. Um, with regard to my hobby as a painting, I discovered it in California I would say yeah so I visited one of friends house and she used to paint and she had paintings all over her room and all over her living room and everything and she was showing me and at that time it hit me like I was like wow that is something amazing will I be able to create that ever <laughs> so um, I am uh, so who I am I am a mom I am um, a CPA so like professionally I'm a very career oriented person so I'm a CPA chartered accountant from India CP Canada CP USA and yeah and my hobby is painter so it combines you know I both have artistic side and I have like finance side so it's a good mixture I would say <laughs> so yeah so from the very beginning since my childhood mm. so one day it, it was like okay let's just go do this and see how it goes because I really wanted to paint something so I took one of the um, you know those paint and sip classes where you go and you know you just go out with friends and you know it's very casual you go and you paint you don't need any experience any certifications or anything you just do what you know what's going on and you know just enjoy that's all I came back home I showed to my husband he said wow that's like amazing and I don't know what just happened I just couldn't sleep that night because I was so amazed you know with this experience it was so um, inspiring that you know I just wanted to pay to pay more and more and more <laughs> so then okay I'm gonna try to sum up what I heard you say so you can correct me because we have noise around where we're sitting here in Surrey Central near Take 5 Cafe we're actually at Prado Cafe which is part of Civic Hotel and KPU and the library is over there and we're gonna walk a little bit in a minute but as I understand from Lolita when asking the question who she is she said I'm a mom so that is really a high priority I uh, hear and she's smiling right now see the <laughs> smile <laughs> all the moms can understand this you know, once you are a mom you're always a mom and this is something you know you discovered yourself again after being a mom right. and it is like you can't even express it in words how much pleasure it gives you right so you're happy being a mom Absolutely. you originally from India spent some time in the United States you did your CPA in India all the accreditations and certifications and in the United States so you're and in Canada, and in Canada so you are a global CPA sort of. <laughs> who speaks probably three languages Two for now, Hindi, and English. Hindi and English um, and came to Canada because they thought it's a welcoming country and so she and her husband and one child yeah one child came to Canada in August 2020 August 2020 so two years ago, yeah, two years ago. somewhere she discovered a love for painting but wasn't exactly sure what to do she had taken an elective class while doing her CPA work uh, something to uh, do while doing my like when I was like in 10th or 9th grade oh back in high school yeah back in high school okay <laughs> Long time back. Long time before. So that had kind of whet your appetite for the whole art world. You sort of, but I did not feel that you know that touch or that uh, excitement or that you know that connection with mm. the painting at that particular time. When, but yeah, when in when I was in California, it just hit me that yeah, I should do this thing at least once in my life and see how it goes. <laughs> it was inspiration. It was internal no. and from nature. Yeah. <laughs> well, your first painting, these are all acrylic, right? Yeah. Your first painting was of what and what caused you to paint that? My first painting wasn't acrylic itself, so I particularly enjoy 
acrylic medium so it was again nature so it was all um, you know it was by the beach and there's, uh, there's a door and um, there is sand flowers so it's it was a mix of all those things so again very you know everything that nature has provided us. You recently did a your first exhibition at Beaumont. Yeah. How did it go? It was amazing. So um, I saw on online that Bowman Studio, it's it's you know it's it's a great platform. It provides new artists to showcase their artwork over the internet. Because uh, when you paint, uh, there is a uh, uh, hormone called a dopamine. So that is released and which is actually you know make you feel happy mm. and pleasure mm. so if you are happy from inside you can actually see that transformation in your business in your personal life and everything else so it's a it's a very great connection between the two so the disciplines complement each other absolutely do they make you a better cpa a and the cpa makes being. you a better artist i guess so it makes me a better person because you know, you are at you are at on your peace. You are happy when mm. you see something. Where were you born? What was life like growing up where you were born? So I am basically from India, and I was born in New Delhi, which is the capital city of India. So actually, it's a, it's a city of opportunities. So people from other small towns come to Delhi to discover themselves, mm. and it's a it provides a great opportunity. It has it it has two sides of it. It has its monuments and historical, you know, touch. It's it's political. It's a heart of political uh, aspects of India. Mm. When I think of my hometown, so I think of people because it's it's a, it's a very populated city mm. uh, because it, it's a dream city. It provides people to, you know, the opportunity to fulfill their dreams. So that gives us a real nice understanding of Lalita's uh, growing up years in New Delhi. And she speaks uh, of her home city in India with a big smile and fond memories and good relationships. It was a good place and a good time in your life, but you came to North America at some point. Why did you come to the United States first? And then why did you come to Vancouver, Canada, this area? Uh, so particularly, um, I never imagined that I would go outside and explore something, but my husband, he's a very ambitious person. So when I met him, uh, he always had this dream of settling down either in US or Canada so absolutely I we share our opinions and feelings together so I was like okay definitely it's a US and Canada Canada there you know land of opportunities was so. the process uh, difficult uh, going to the United States from India and then from United States here the paperwork and all for you husband child um, yeah like um, being an immigrant is not easy, so we went on H. So my husband, he was on H one B visa, and I was on dependent visa. So it's it's a long process. Mm. What was that like? Uh, were people were people, people help? Yeah, actually, that's the best part because I know um, once we're an immigrant, people and the other immigrants they recognize how hard it is to you know mm. settle down in a new new country and new area so i think people are actually very helpful now so <laughs> well and you know we met as i've met many people from different parts of the world uh especially india through the newcomers in vancouver group how did you find that group originally when you came here i just recently found out about that group i okay. think maybe a month or two oh, <laughs> just okay. scrolling through facebook and i was like oh this sounds like fun i should be a part of it so, Lolita has visions and dreams about the future. Born in New Delhi, um, came because this is where her husband wanted to come. He was ambitious. Here in Canada two or so years ago, and now discovering that there is a place for her to express her artwork, to be a chartered accountant, 
and to be a mom all at the same time and life is great because you have those complementary factors right <laughs> <laughs> life is great yeah it's so busy and but i think that's the best part about it because you learn each day so much what's your dream what's your vision you go to sleep at night sometimes and you think this is what i want to do next with my chartered accounting work with my painting uh, with my family with any aspect of your life what's what's your vision and dream you know one of the things while you're thinking of an answer is we want to be able to take ordinary stories of people like us and share them with people like you to inspire you to take another good step to realize that even though we all go through ups and downs and different aspects of our life there is reason to be thankful and there is reason to take another step forward uh, well professionally I think that yeah there is always there to achieve so wherever I am I definitely have something to like m many more things to explore my CPA with regard to my hobby um, yeah so I started it as a hobby and then recently I started to you know take it a one step ahead and I hmm. opened my Etsy shop I you am, have a shop yeah I have online an Etsy shop yeah okay online Line, so okay, so we'll put that in here. Okay. People can see your work. Absolutely, I'm happy to share. <laughs> okay, and also um because I started my journey by taking um, uh, sip and uh, drink, sip and paint class, where you know I discovered my hobby which I actually did not know about so I'm actually planning to organize that kind of paint events for people out there and even if they don't want to pursue it in future maybe for those two three hours they would I know that they would really going to enjoy it's that. been a delight Lolita to Thank share you. some time with you you That's are a wonderful <laughs> woman and uh, for you that are watching from newcomers in Vancouver, here is a new friend that you just haven't met yet, and you need to. just discovered it is no longer taste of Punjab.